So what do you know about Camino de Santiago, you Sunday pilgrim? Let me tell you that without proper care of your feet during the Camino de Santiago, the farthest you can get is to hospital. So better watch carefully this video until the end. People say that my feet are smelly, but I don't think so. No, they not. <laughs> Ah, this yoga stuff. <laughs> the most important thing on the Camino de Santiago is one. Vaseline. <laughs> that was the easy part, eh? And how to go out, there's the other part. Ha! Ah. 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 Ha! As straight from the Camino Portuguese here, yes, I did go out of the bucket. How? This is to be revealed in the video, so stay connected. But I would like to you to imagine one important factor. Why the Vaseline is your best friend and this is not the sponsored video. So just imagine, when you go in for the long car journey, you have to take care and prevent the excessive friction that could happen inside of the car's engine. Your mechanic probably would put some special oil just to prevent this rubbing and that could cause car's breakdown. Exactly the same way your feet will need some extra care when walking the long distances, day after day, after day, and after day. Let me take you through the journey, through normal, typical Camino de Santiago day, through the perspective of your own feet. <laughs> One, two, three. You came a long way to the Camino, but don't ruin everything just because you overestimate the importance of the feet care. Trust me on this one. Start much before hitting the road, Jack, even before putting your special socks and carefully selected shoes. This is momento perfecto to wrap your feet in the friction protective layer, putting some Vaseline or if you're more into eco stuff, almond oil. Put extra care in the tip of the toes, heels and in between the toes as the blisters like to appear there. Aura time for socks. Wear the socks is obvious, no? The socks should be from breathable material and even better from merino wool. Meh. Shoes. Check the video about the shoes and whichever you choose, don't forget to break in them before the Camino. So now we are ready to go.
you write that without covering the feet with Vaseline, the feet would be overexposed to friction and over sweating after 20 30 kilometers that we just walked. Write that, hmm. So once you're in Albergue, let the feet relax and get ready for another day as there is still a lots of walking to do. Maybe a little massage, maybe a little bit of connection to the ground, taking your flip-flops off. You decide. This is your feet, this is your Camino. But if you want to know more about Camino Massage, uh, check the membership option in Ricky's channel. He will tell you much more. Right, Dad? Hmm. And by the way, subscribe to Ricky's channel and wait for our future videos. Right, Dad? Hmm. So, buen camino. Hmm. One, two, three. Ah. 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 Huh. Done.